my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. And oh. you find us out on our jolly days down on the south coast at Bonner's Guitars down in lovely Eastbourne. Um, Simon, who we've done a video with already, depending on which order these videos go out, who knows, um, has brought toys with him to share. I, and I don't know if anyone can tell by the look on my face, <laughs> but I finally get it. I, I get it. That is amazing. Tell us what it is. This, good people, is... I'm going to do that as well so we can see it. A real clone centaur. It's not a clone. It's not a clone. It's a clone. It's a real one. This is... A, I've, got, I've got a couple of clones. Mm -hmm. Clone clones. Clone clones. <laughs> clone clones. They don't sound like... That is... That is incredible. I mean, you know, whether it's now surpassing the £5,000 status, which is what these things are now going for. But that's incredible. It does sound different. It's got a thing. Now, there's an awful lot of... Um, what's, the, what's the word? There's an awful lot of building these things up, isn't there? The price tag builds them up. Yep. Lots of stuff. And obviously, we haven't got anything to compare it with. We haven't got a clone clon to compare it with <laughs> a here clone and, clone. A clone clone here and now. But that's doing a thing that I've not heard. That's great. So basically, James and James and myself, we just plugged in this Laney. This is the new um, LA amp. Five watt. Um, five watt thingy. Bowie thing. Don't be fooled by five watts being quiet. This thing is so loud. Mm -hmm. It's incredible, isn't it? Um, and we were playing through it and going, yeah, it's all right. We sort of get it. And then we plug that into it and just gone, ah, oh, this thing sounds incredible. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Very know. rarely is my colleague, Mr. Drew, lost for words. Well, I don't get excited about pedals anymore because, you know, there's so many pedals out there. And actually, that's a lie. I do get excited about pedals. But, you know, uh, recently I reviewed the uh, the PRS Horsemeat. Terrible name. You know, Great pedal. pedal. Good pedal, yeah. Um, that's different. It's not this, is it? Let's go through some of the sounds on it because, and I know I know this video has been done to death. There's loads of people that have done clone videos, but to be honest, this is the first time that I've ever played through a real, a real one, a real one, and it is different. It's it's different to mine. To mine. First of all, just plugging into it because of the buffer that's in it, it immediately feels good. The amp feels more reactive and yeah, more... yeah, 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 and it's but like well, the top end has come back. So the buffer that they put in this is fantastic. Now the clone can be used in many different ways. It can be used as a sort of a clean boost. It can be used as a a drive pedal and it can also be used as it loads of people don't use it like this but a clon can be used as quite a high gain pedal we'll demonstrate that so uh it's it's on at the moment so off it sounds like this on with the gain down sounds like this instantly makes the amp sound better instantly it becomes your tone almost yeah that's that's just a fantastic light boost mm -hmm. okay like you're almost using it like a clean boost bring the treble back Never gets muddy, it's fantastic. Turn the treble up. Woo! That is cut yourself in half, isn't it, Territory? Yeah, take your ears off. Right, but loads of people don't actually use a clon as a high gain pedal. Now watch what happens when I turn the gain up, because this is a... What, dual, it's a dual concentric pot, so it's doing the one, the gain pot is doing two things. It's is it two, dual concentric, is that what? It's got two, it's got dual gang. It's got dual two, gang, that's it's better. Got two, two pots 
as one. So you're doing two things at the same time on different circuits. Okay. <laughs> The compression that's coming from that is just so pleasing. How bad did you want one? Oh man. I mean that's that's I wish I'd have brought my Ryra clone mm -hmm. with me to compare to compare the two. I think you call it, what do you call it? You get in the fizz or something, I think you call the, it. The, 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 it gives you the fuzz. Gives you the fizz. Gives you the fizz. That's give me the fizz. That is that is an absolutely incredible. I do you know it's the first time I've ever tried one, as I said. I'm super excited about that. That pedal mm -hmm. is more expensive than that guitar. On the, on the second-hand market, yes, without a doubt. Now, I was a bit sneaky, and Simon opened it up to put a battery in it. Uh, uh, an EverReady, rather than a Duracell, depending on your <laughs> battery preferences, Mr. Johnson, sir. Um, and I got a sneaky peek. Here's some pictures. Um, and it's one of the gummed up ones. It's all been glued up. It's and all gunged up. Yes, yeah, someone, hasn't, someone hasn't removed the gunk. To try and God, find out what it was. Um, or what's under the gunge. I mean, that's, that to me, that is, that is the best overdrive pedal I've ever, ever used. <gasps> there's, a, there's a video clickbait title. <laughs> but it feels great. You, you know, like, you know, when you plug into something mm -hmm. and, I mean, you might see it on my face sometimes. You plug into something and, and I'm a little bit uninspired by the way that things sound. That instantly gets me excited. As soon as you plug into it, there's something... It's giving, it's giving you the fizz. It's a reaction between the guitar and that, and the amplifier just sounds fantastic. Even match, trying to match the levels, because obviously, as it gets louder, you want it to be better. Mm. Your your brain is telling you it's better. But even matching the levels, so we're kind of like there-ish now. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. I want one. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I think I don't. I couldn't justify spending five grand on a pedal. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to do it. But that is. But even bypassed, it's doing a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, doing yeah, a thing. Yeah. I wish, I wish I'd known, or, or I wish I'd bought one of these when, when they were affordable. <laughs> anyway, really hope you guys got something out of this. Um, please like and subscribe. And then one day, once you've got <laughs> 5 million subscribers, I might be able to afford one of these. Um, yeah, highly recommend trying one out. If you ever get the chance of plugging one in, it's, it's, uh, it's an experience. Really and I is. think if you find one on the second hand market reasonably, it's an investment. It's definitely an investment. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button. You'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. He's pointing. He's doing. He's in, introduced himself, but forgetting me. No, you got. So I'm. No, I'm, and then I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm Paul. I'm James, and we'll see you next time.